It's time now for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist and Market Journal Chief Meteorologist Al Dutcher. Al, it was a warm week out there. What's this next week look like for us? Well, Troy, it looked like summer finally kicked into gear. We've seen temperatures consistently in the 90s for the better part of this week. In fact, we've seen some of the heat indices breach the 100 degree mark with those dew points pushing up above the 70 degree mark. All this in response to high pressure aloft dominating much of the central United States and of course the trough of the western United States that finally ejected some of that energy out into the northern and central plains, particularly when we got into Thursday afternoon where we've seen widespread severe weather outbreak develop across the Dakotas and then head southeast. We're giving us at least some precipitation here in Nebraska, but unfortunately we had to also deal with some of the wind and the hail. Now as we go forward in time, of course, we've been seeing some dry conditions lately and, if, and then the concern is will this continue and from the GFS model standpoint, at least there are showing, starting to show some hints at possible precipitation, which is a pretty good increase considering what was experienced here a week ago when it was depicting a pretty much significantly dry trend that would establish itself for the better part of the next two weeks. So let's go look at the upper air models and see what we have in store. And as we look at the upper air model, here's that high pressure system in place is built back up toward the north as that piece of energy that was responsible for the precipitation Thursday night and Friday has now slipped to the Great Lakes. High pressure just off to our east basically will keep us under dry conditions today. We'll start to see a slight rebound in temperatures warmers to the west and most of the precipitation, although light, will be scattered through the mid-Mississippi, mid mid-Ohio mid River Valley as we go into Sunday. We see that ridge building even farther north, so we're going to be back into the 90s, into the mid-90s, particularly as we get to the northern part of the region where we have a little bit of drier air in place and in terms of precipitation. Of course, not much in the way of significant moisture, all of it to the western United States. Now, as we go into Monday, things start to get a little bit more interesting. High pressure tries to start to retrograde a little bit toward the southwest. The trough tries to come into the Pacific Northwest. So we do have high off to our east that will bring some moisture up at the lower levels, and we possibly may see some scattering of shower activity just to our south. And then as we get into the day on Tuesday, that high pressure system builds even farther back to the, the southwest, also builds farther toward the north. That's going to leave a fairly significant pool of moisture that's going to be sitting down the Gulf Coast region. It's going to try to ride up in the low level jet. We may see an MCS developing as we go through Wednesday night into, or excuse me, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then we start to see the ridge trying to build back. At the same time, that trough in the northwestern United States is trying to make its way into the northern Rockies. So with the high pressure just off to our southeast, we do have a little bit of low-level flow that'll be coming to the north, but it looks like most of it'll be intercepted in the mid-Mississippi River Valley. And then as we get into the day on Thursday, that trough piece that tries to go over top of the ridge and starts to carve out, say, troughing pattern in the Great Lakes, that's going to allow some cooler air to back into our region, and that may actually generate a focal point for precipitation. So the first wave, we see that precipitation breaking out across the upper Great Lakes, and then we basically see that deepening somewhat as we go through Friday. That's going to push that cold air interaction zone a little bit farther back toward the west and the potential that we will see some generation of precipitation activity, particularly in the eastern part of the state in the upper Great Lakes region. As we go forward in time, though, that trough to the west will get replaced by another trough. So we probably will be dealing with that as we get to the last 10 days of the month. The 8 to 14 day forecast from CPC indicating above normal temperatures as they expect that high pressure to be in place and not much in the way of any of that troughing action to come in to the region. But the latest model runs are showing that indeed we are starting to see an upper air trough once again rebuild and move its way toward the central and northern plains. In terms of precipitation, lighten up a little bit on the precipitation tendencies for dryness as that trough comes in the Pacific Northwest. So we'll wait, wait and see whether or not we do see that precipitation as we go into next Thursday through the following Tuesday.